Hello everybody, <clears throat> this is Michael Lee. Now, this video is going to be about uh, the Hoos Florida 525RX trimmer and brush cutter. Now this machine comes with a grass blade uh, if you want to cut uh, larger things down like woody material, French broom, Himalayan blackberry, or even small trees. You got to switch to your grass blade. The trimmer line is not strong enough, so you have to switch to this thing. This is the grass blade the Husqvarna 525RX trimmer and brush cutter comes with. Okay, um, I actually bought two of these bad boys. They're like 20 bucks up, 20 bucks uh, each when I bought it. God, they're probably 500 now. Um, but anyways, I bought the machine brand new with two grass blades because I just knew I was going to be using these a lot. So this video is about how to sharpen this thing. You see how I have it uh, positioned inside of the guard? Never just keep this blade uh, in storage without the guard because you might slice your finger open handling it, okay? So keep it in the guard. That's why they give you this thing. Now to sharpen the grass blade, oh, when, when your grass blade goes dull, you don't need to go to the store and buy a brand new one. You just sharpen it, okay? So what you do, put it in your vise, all the way down, tighten it in, don't over tighten, just make sure it's snug. Then, get a flat file, and you want to get a beast of a flat file. Don't get a small flat file, like this is my smaller flat file I use for, sharp, or for, uh, for hitting the rakers on my chains, on my uh, power saws. Okay, you want a bigger beast of a flat file when you're sharpening the grass blade on your brush cutter. Okay, this is a serious blade. Okay, so you need a, a serious file. Okay, so make sure your file is secure. Take a wide stance and you're going to file and then release, file, and then release, file, and release. There is a sharp edge here, a sharp edge here, and that would be one cutting tooth. There are four teeth in total, one, two, three, four, with a total of eight blades, okay? And you need to do both sides, right? making uh, 16 things that you need to file all together. Make sure when you're filing that you come to a point located in the center so you have equal blade on both sides. Here we go. See how I'm not going like that? See how I take a wide stance, drop my butt a little bit, nice and tall, good posture, and then I go. And I kind of like to sharpen, kind of round the edges a little bit, just so you have a lo longer blade. You can do more cutting with it. Going on to the other side of, or going on to the other blade of the first cutter, and this is just one side. Good, let's go on to the next cutter.
careful when you rotate the blade and stay on the same side so you don't lose track of what you're doing. Careful. Got a little bit of a little bit of a chunk taken out of there. looking deadly already. So that's one side done. Eight blades, four cutters. Now we have to flip to the other side. Other side. Once again, this point I'm really trying to ram home. You notice how I'm taking a wide stance, dropping my butt, spine in a nice uh, upright anatomical position. I'm not like this and then rounding over and working like this. It's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt your your lower back and you're gonna be like you know halfway through this thing and you're gonna be like oh the heck with it I'll just take it to the shop and I'll pay them five hundred dollars to sharpen it. Right? You don't want to be that guy. Just uh do it on your own, right? So Final side, here we go. And you can start to see a nice edge develop. Oh yeah. Okay, check your edges, looks good, so we're almost done, rotate, careful, only four more blades to go.
Now check your blade. Okay, good. Now, this is what it looks like when it's all sharp. See how nice that looks? Okay. Boom. Boom. These are the Cutting blades. Ooh, that's a good one. That one's sharp. I could have done a better job of making the blades even on both sides. I'll try to do better next time. Here you can kind of see on this side, see how that's not quite as even as it could be. Uh, that one's not that bad. That one's a little bit too much on one side and not enough on the other, right? But anyways, there's your grass blade, so hopefully I saved you uh, $20 or $50 or $500 or whatever these things go for nowadays. Um, hopefully that helped you out, saved you some money. That's how to hand sharpen a grass blade for the Hoos Barnett 525RX trimmer and brush cutter with, uh, with, a, with a regular flat file, okay? So you may be thinking like, well, how the heck do I put this thing onto the machine now? Well, that's coming in the very next video. So if you want to learn how to switch from your trimmer head to the grass blade, watch my next video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Yep.